Kim Kiyosaki is a financial literacy expert and the author of the book Rich Woman, a book on investing for women. She is also the co-founder of Rich Dad Company, a financial education company founded by her husband, Robert Kiyosaki. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Kim Kiyosaki, how to become a rich woman in five steps. The video is going to be amazing, make sure to stick till the end. Now before we get into this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I subscribed, I will try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. Throughout your life, you'll undoubtedly be faced with a fork in the road. It could be your next career move, a decision about your children's future, or moving to a new city. When it comes to the topic of personal finance, you've also been faced with a fork in the road, and the decision you made once upon a time got you to where you are right now. Let's pretend you had it to do all over again, because, spoiler alert, you do. On Path A, you can choose to take the reins and take control of your finances. The possibilities are endless and financial freedom could be yours. On Path B, you can choose to sit on the sidelines and stay in the rat race. Or worse, become dependent on someone else who does all your thinking for you. For many, Path B consists of advisors or financial planners, but oftentimes, women will find they also become heavily dependent on their spouses. So, now that you're being offered a do-over, which path would you choose this time around? No matter where you're at in life at this very moment, please know that it's never too late to switch paths. In fact, Kim Kiyosaki wrote the book Our Financial Independence, the one less traveled by, by women. The reason many women choose path B, whether purposely or accidentally, is because there are dozens of excuses available to them. No matter how many opportunities arise, fear, negative people, and hopelessness can sabotage their efforts to take control of their finances. It can be intimidating thinking about changing your current trajectory. But that shouldn't stop you from taking your first step forward on path A. You can begin your transformation to becoming a rich woman by following the five steps below. You will be amazed at how quickly your financial knowledge increases and how rapidly your financial life begins to transform. And once you're in motion, your successes will lead to more success. The five steps to become a rich woman are Number one, seize your independence. If you are dependent on your spouse, a family member, or the government, then you are not in control of your financial future and well-being. The first thing you need to decide is if you want to be dependent or independent. If you choose to be dependent, then you better keep your fingers crossed and hope and pray that there will be something there for you down the road, because if you've chosen to put your entire financial life and your future into the hands of someone else, then you are the ultimate gambler. Good luck. If, however, you decide you want to be financially independent, read on. Number 2. Become a lifelong learner. One trait independent women have in common is education, and that doesn't necessarily mean an Ivy League school. It doesn't even matter if you finished high school, as it's actually unlikely that a traditional school will teach you any real-world money skills. So, where are all the independent women finding their financial education? There are millions of books, seminars, and online resources that offer a wealth of information on money and investing. Start reading, attending workshops, and paying attention to business stories in the news. Your financial education will be a mix of those plus real-world experience once you get in the game, of course. And while we're on the topic of financial education, be careful who you learn from. Just because someone is successful in one aspect of business doesn't necessarily mean that success will translate to other areas. It is best to learn from people who are actively doing what you hope to do. Too many women blindly turn their money over to an advisor or financial planner with the expectation that that person can do a better job at managing and growing their money than they can. Number 3. A Word of Warning A great many financial planners and advisors are not focused on educating you. They are salespeople with products and services to sell. When talking with a so-called financial expert, ask yourself this question, Am I listening to a true educator or a salesperson? More often than not, you'll find it's the latter. That's why the Rich Dad Company was founded, because both Kim and Robert are passionate about people being free, not just financially free, but free to do what they truly want to do with their lives. 
At the Rich Dad Company, we offer many resources, such as free investing classes and personal finance coaching. Number four, make a plan. Ask yourself, what is it that you want to achieve financially? First and foremost, your financial strategy should be based on the concept of cash flow. As an investor, there are two things you can invest for, cash flow and capital gains. What's the difference? Capital gains, you buy a share of stock for $20. You later sell that share for $30. The profit you make is called capital gains, or you buy a property for $50,000. In two years, you sell that property for $75,000. Your profit, or $25,000, is capital gains. You buy a share of stock that pays a dividend. You hold onto that stock, and every year you are paid a dividend. That dividend is called cash flow. Or you buy a $50,000 property and decide to rent it. Every month you collect the rent, pay the mortgage and other expenses, and if you've managed the property well, you'll make a profit each month. That profit is cash flow. The beauty of setting goals and moving forward on the path you've set is that once you're in motion, the journey becomes a bit easier. Create a plan and keep it very simple. Number five, start small. Remember how we mentioned real world experiences in the education section? With almost everything in life, there is a learning curve. Know that you will make mistakes along the way, so start with small steps. Kim's first real estate investment was a small two-bedroom slash one-bathroom house. She learned the fundamentals of owning and managing a rental property on that first house. She also made quite a few mistakes. Had she started with a 50-unit apartment building? At some point, you must take action. You can read all the books you want, attend seminars all day long, research opportunities up one side and down another, but if you don't put up a little money and get into the game, you will never see a change in your financial life. One simple action you can take is to research various stocks and companies you have an interest in and buy just two or three shares of one company. Your intelligence regarding the stock market will immediately increase if you pay attention to what's happening with your stock on a daily basis. Sure, there are a lot of factors to overcome in order to take control of your financial well-being and to change your life for the better. But know that you are not alone on your journey to becoming a rich woman. Many women have gone from being homeless to being financially free, and you can too. If you're still struggling to move forward, perhaps you need to start with discovering your why and learning how to live your truth. Once you do that, join us on Patha. It will make all the difference. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more interesting videos. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.